How's it going? Back at it again, and here we are again. Louis Yonder out of Vila. He's going to make his first start in the bigs this year, and went over to scouting. This is what I got. I do think I want to make a change with this, though. Andy Corona, he looks pretty interesting even being ranked only 55. That good hit per nine. I want to look at the central pitchers actually. I've kind of talked myself into it. I wanted to look at the the west pitchers, but the central seemed to fit more of what I'm looking for. And we're also looking at central third baseman. I wanted to get a look at Lincoln Montgomery with his good power and reaction and speed, potentially. Could be a solid player. And here's the game against Texas out of Vila. Pitch well enough. And we do hold on and win. Going up against a good team in Milwaukee now. And we win that game. I got Mackenzie Gore. Let's hop into this one. A left handed pitcher. We go Bobby Witt here. He's got 10 home runs now. Have to see Witt hitting the baseball this year. Garcia not doing that, though. He has not hit the ball well. Freddie Furman continues to be a tease. Continues to play well, and... Be a great series for this team. Um, Garcia has more home runs than Melendez, which is crazy too. But let's get in there with Mikel Garcia and see if we can get him on base a couple times. And if we can't figure it out, I mean, I'm just going to bat Stephen Kwan at leadoff. Because I need people that can get on. For my people that hit RBIs, um, and now your Kansas City Royal. Here's Hunter Brown, who's two and three. He's pitched all right. He just might not have the run support. Or maybe the bullpen just makes the game uncome, unable to come back from. Got Mikel Garcia now in the box. Off the plate, ball one. Good curve on the inside. It's a miss on the fastball. Oh, 
Straight up the middle, base hit for Garcia. Batting section, not shortstop. That's one to nothing. The Jackson Churio hit the double. It right to the first baseman. Couldn't quite loop it over his head enough. Shortstop. Face score again. Foul it back. And that one swapped for a base hit. At that time he did what he wanted to do. Not the best hit, but good result. Is Garcia facing Gore again? It's still one to nothing. Broken bat and Gore is gonna make the play. And that might be it. Garcia in the attempt. One up against Abdur Uribe. He's got some good pitches. Melendez is on base, looks like. Tried to go the opposite way with it. Struck him out. And Derma hits the game one and triple and Gore eight and two thirds. And we do hold on and beat Milwaukee in a tight one. And let's hop into another game with Fernando, see if we can get another good gem out of him. Pretty formidable team. Mike Trout, Ozzy Albies, Bowers can hit, India, and even Spencer Steer. I mean, they have a not you know. I mean, they have a good five or six capable guys that can hit. So a good test for Alcantar. The middle wit making plays that not many people can. Taps it right to arise, and he throws him out. It's a big swing and a miss from Chanel. And Chanel goes down swinging. Good inning for Fernando. Here's a guy you don't want to see. At the ball. 
don't even think I should throw this pitch again, but... Walking it might not be the end of the world. Three balls, no strikes. Up in the air, and I'm just gonna get it myself. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Jay Bauer. Ah. And Bowers down, the count even two and two. Three and two. Bowers back, the cutter. Ball four. And does Five. not offer. Mickey Moniac. Counts one and oh. Ball. Two balls, no strike. Aye. Up in the air, and Melinda is moving in on it. And he makes the catch. Batting seven. The third baseman. Jonathan. India. Oh, that's it. Nope. Oh, starting to lose confidence in his fastball. Ball. Down. Again, falling behind. He walks in India. Now you got Neto. Big leg kick. Good by Neto there. No ball, two strikes. Neto almost got that one. One ball, two strikes. Away from the zone. That's a ball. Neto not chasing at two all. Balls, two strikes. Tap, base hit for Neto. Tough inning here for Fernando. Now he's got to go against Tice. Ball, that's too high. He missed high again. One and some one. swinging. Tice is not chasing. Does not chase again. And he blew it by him. A clutch strikeout. Strikeout for Almond's eye. Got a face trout now, though. Ah. All ones that count. And it's gone. Trout kills the slider. Upped it over the plate. That's what Trout does on pitches like that. Ball one. Got 
away with that pitch. Chano hits it to Garcia and out. Ball inside. One hit up in the air to Melendez and the end of the third. It's three to one. Pasquantino hits the free run homer. Missing over the middle again. He's missed a couple times this game already. Nope. Two two to The count is full. Foul tips it. Puts him on base to start the fourth. Here's Moniac. Mickey Moniac. It's a fair ball and he does another magical trick. Magic Mickey on base. And putting two fastballs in the zone against India. Two balls, two strikes. Three. Got on looking. Neto, face hit again for Neto. <laughs> that point became a better player over time. One after him. That one hammered. This game is going to be broken open here. A throw in, and this is going to be a lead for the Angels. Almonds are getting shook up. At the bottom of the order. In the air. Definitely some growing pains for Fernando. Just gonna have to learn how to use him better. And he struck out Trout, but. Angels do enough damage to take now the lead. And then will come Sandlin. Game, the Royals come back to lead. The Royals come back to win 15 to 10. Couldn't keep up with all those updates. What a game. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 56 minutes. That is insanity. 15 to 10.
And here's another start for Alavila. Garcia with a man on against Munoz. They win. And they lose a game to Madison. And Lincoln Montgomery has fallen off our board a little bit and not impressed with that outing of scouting. Kind of disappointed in Schofield. I was thinking he might be an alright bat, but it's already falling down the board. I might as well just finish up the region for international at this point. First baseman. And with our other scout, it's it's really tough to find a guy that you want. See what we found with pitching this week. We found McGraw, he's shot up. I mean, he's pretty much what we know. Daryl Goodwin, he looks pretty solid. I kind of like how he's looking. I hopefully he continues to shoot up the board. I think that's what we'll go into with this week. And another game against our friend Brady Singer. A couple people on Singer versus Melendez. Angels win, maybe I should have went in, but I'm fine sitting that one out. Let's hop into a little player lock game here. 
Freddy Peralta on the mound. I'm kind of interested to see him. Evan Cross hit in 234. It's tough to see, but let's use Vinny. And two solo home runs hit ahead of Pasquantino. Two to nothing, Kansas City. Wow. Hope for that one. in the air and popped up. The first baseman, number nine, Vinny. It's six to one. A bunch of home runs getting hit this game. One oh. Really bad luck there. Good swing, but bad result. Leading off for Kansas City, the first baseman, number nine, Vinny Pasquantino. It's Carlos Vargas. down on three pitches just swinging away and another pop up and out bad game for Vinny the first base was number nine Vinny. getting on that bad here in the ninth and a base hit so not all terrible it looks like he's going to get a run. Oh, and he does. An RBI single for Vinny. Bobby Witt gets four hits. Pretty cool to see. Keep Manuel Montoya on the 15. Fernando Alamanzari gets shelled again. Nine earned runs for the kid. Ah, that hurts to see. Another game for Alvila, and we do win. We under two and one, not doing bad.
for Omaha. The third baseman, Mark Carrara. Ball one. I was back to that fastball. Two one. And up the middle for a base hit. One chopped and a double play ball in the fifth inning. A one hit into the open hole and it's gonna score a run. A weak ground ball single. He is in the ninth. It's the slider there. See Roscoe Morales playing good though. Two doubles for him. And I think we're ready to play our first full game of the series. Gonna go up against Oakland. And our former pitcher Daniel Lynch. Get Casey Mize on the mound. Be fun to see. Nick Prado in the lineup for them. That's cool. Here's Mize against Bubba Thompson to start the game. Ball, no. One ball, no strike. That one speared, but a story release will catch it. Drew, Drew Waters, one. another player on our team that is here. Pass Garcia for a base hit. Runner, runner, runner. Yep. Throw oh. is in time. So an easy out there. Got the ball. Mm 
ball. No. Eyes missing. On behind Badu. Ball four. Take your base. And walks him. No. 1-0. Ball. Running again and right again Stay out. Down. Teams think they can run, but it's just not a good idea. Here's the lynch. Against Garcia. That's a base hit for Garcia. Make out Bobby Witt Jr. hitting 289. Swings at a high fastball. And that one put badly into playing Witt. It doubles himself up. Not what you want to do at the beginning of the game. And that's called strike one. Pushed up the middle and rise. Beats it out for an infield hit. Here's Alvarez now with a chance. Up to 290. Huh. No Took a bad swing One at right. the curve. One -one. Great up the middle base hit for Alvarez and without that double play we'd be in great shape but Still have some good hitting coming up here is Freddie. No, it's Stephen Kwan. Ball one. And he lays off the curve. Kwan up in the air. Out of play. Tried to get on that one a little early. Always said it was late. Two, two. Doesn't chase high. Two and two. Quan spoiling that one. Two to Quan. You got Furman on deck. And Quan goes down swinging. Probably would have been ball four. You saw the shrum who might be the dangerous, most dangerous bat in their lineup. Soderstrom fouls it back. Mm -hmm. 
And that one is hit high and deep. Well, Weez can't make the catch, and he takes it out of the park. One to nothing A's. Our pitching has been the biggest problem with this team. It's been very, very shoddy. How is that a way? Hit to Mize, Mize. It's the first out of the second. That is it. The third baseman, Jacob Wilson. You take up Wilson, one of their better young players. That one by Garcia down the line and Gar Mendez will not be tested. But another hit. Nick Prado, the lefty. Three run. Four, three. Swing and a miss. No ball. Two strikes. And Prado goes down looking. First strikeout of the game. Mize and pops him up to wit. And the second frame for hitting is done. Soderstrom with the home run. Here's Freddie Furman up against Daniel Lynch. Two strikes on Furman. And high fastball finishes him off. Who's Noah Curtis? Just starting every at bat off with that high fastball. Gets it in there again for strike two. And he goes down swinging. Here's a story Ruiz now to former A. Base hit for him, and now they gotta deal with that speed. Here's Melendez, we skipped over. His stats and that one hit into the gap and Ruiz is gonna score with ease. And Melendez charging for third. And he's in there for a triple. So the eight and nine hitter get us on the board. Ordon is pumped. Belted and we have the lead back. Done well against Lynch. 
Here's Witt Jr. now. That one put in play, but caught. A great athletic catch by Drew Waters. He just saved a run, basically. I think that would have scored another one if he didn't make Leading that catch the and he's on the ground. The second baseman, Max Muncy. Here's Max Muncy now, and we'll see if we can get Mize back to pitching. All right, up in the air, Ruiz makes another play. Bunts it. Merman. Not in time, and Thompson's speed gets on. And a chance against Waters, and the frozen time again. Third runner caught stolen. One ball, one strike. In there for strike two. On the ground to win. And he makes the play. Nice quick inning for Mize. Now we got a rise who got on in the first. Bouncing in the dirt. Fouled back, same pitch. Virtually identical. Almost got him there. Who would buy him high? Jackson a little too late on it, and it wasn't a strike, so maybe we should have laid off. Got us with that one. The curveball worked for him well. And Jordan goes down swinging. One ball, no strike. Ball two. 2-0. Oh. Hot ball. Ooh, it by him, 94. 2-1. Three, 3-1. Three and one. <laughs> Got it in there for strike two. Blew it by him. Juan just not sharp so far tonight. Two strikeouts early on in this game. In the air and Melendez just gives up. Sinker doesn't fool him. Slider on the ground, the wits hit well, but out. it's an out. Selderstrom will hit the nuke. Down. 
hit hard to wit, but wit makes the play again. Carson Williams. Ball one. One one. Ah. Swing and a miss. One ball. Two strikes. Come here, Quan. It's gonna be tough, but he makes the catch. Here is Lynch against Furman. Ball. One oh. That one hit hard, but Williams that makes a great play. The first baseman, number 19. Noah. That was a great athletic play. It's Curtis who hits it to Williams, and he will make the second out, out of the inning. The center field, number 13, S.A. Jury, Rui. We got a story Ruiz who hit a single and scored. Fouled it back. Again, a foul ball. One, two. Ball. Outside, two and two. Up in the air, could this loop in there, and then it's not gonna end of the fourth. And a strikeout with Mize. Auto fouls it back. And I want the foul off. And a strikeout for Mize. That one hammered by Elliott. Louise is going to throw it in. This could be a triple, and he stays put at second. Oh. 
off the plate. Unsee sits on one and gonna lay off that one in there. Unsee swing and miss. And another strikeout. Here's the Lynch against Melendez. Ball. Lynch definitely starting to show fatigue. Maybe he won't be so good at hitting balls at the plate. There's a nice one in there. Yeah. And we we'll swing at a bad one. one one and two. That one a base hit from Melendez. He finds the hole for the third base and shortstop cap and gets on again. Now Mikel Garcia, he's two for two. I would have swung if the game didn't just save me there. I'm kind of happy it did though. Felt stupid swinging at that one. Up in the air, and this is going to be caught. Here's what Junior is 0 for 2. Hit the ball pretty good the last time up. Swing and a miss. Up in the air, it's kind of identical to the play before, and it goes right to, I believe that's Badu. Oh, it's Elliott playing right field. Interesting. Here's a rise. He's one for two. Wait on that fastball swing. That one pushed to second and the flip end of the fifth. So a clean inning after giving up a base hit. It was Thompson who got on with the bunt. And he bunts again. Garcia charging this time and he gets him. And another bunt laid down, Garcia. And again. Big swing and a miss. From Badu. And he goes down looking. Who can't believe it? Here's Alvarez. He's one for two tonight. Struck out in the third. And you know he wants to redeem himself, but a great play made. And the throw gets him. Hit the ball well, but right to the third baseman. He was shifted over perfectly into the glove. Here's the Lynch. Ents Kwan, who just fouls off the change. Two strikeouts for Kwan today. And he just can't lay off that. Bad pitch in the dirt. And three strikeouts for Quan. Unfortunate there. Three of the seven strikeouts have been from him. 
It's Furman. It's third in the AL in war. It's a great pitch to hit there. It was late on the fastball. And barely on a changeup trying to get ready for that fastball on you. It's all good. That one high, two and two. He's trying to have a clean six inning. Not trying to allow a base runner up in the air. Furman, base hit for Furman and running back to first. Here is Curtis. We've seen some great defensive plays this inning, but just not there. Curtis. And this is going to be caught. That could have been trouble if it found a way to land. Here's Soderstrom. Yep. Too low. Eyes gets a chance to face him in the seventh for a good six inning that included two bunts. The first two pitches. One, two. And he got shoulder strong. Number six for Myers. Williams takes a pitch. Up in the air to rise and a catch. Now Third baseman, Jacob. They got Jacob Wilson. Up in the air to Melendez. And the play is made. Now pitching for the A. Now you got to run there. Munoz. Got pretty good strikeout for nine numbers. Throw a fastball and whatnot. I think we'll keep Ruiz out there. Just get across the day off. There's a bad swing. Fastball slider and a change. And we chase two high ones. Shaking my head over the decision making, but only one way to learn. And we look at strike three. <laughs> Here's MJ Melendez. He's had himself a good game. Senior warming up in another arm. Oh, come on. That was a pitch to destroy right there. That should have been a no doubt here. A little too early on it. Gets away from him, two and one. And three and one to Melendez. And he walked him on five pitches. And the one pitch he made in the zone was a mistake. Let's see what he can do against the righty though. Let's it in there for strike one. Blew it by him. No ball. Two strikes. See, he's got two singles today, but he got out the last time up and now down 0-2. One, two. Away. One and two. Oh, 
put in play, but a double play ball to end the seventh. And can Mize get through another inning? I don't know. I think we just make the switch now. Let's go with Caleb Ferguson here. Now pitching for the boys. <laughs> Number 64. Caleb. That one hammered and the game is gonna be tied if Ruiz can't make the play. No. And Prado actually kept it in the yard, so Ferguson did not give up the game tying home run just yet. And Elliott ready to swing fastball. Ball one. Swing and a miss, one and two. Got him with the sweeping curve. Cutter in there. It's a very slow cutter. It works. 0 2 now to Muncie. And the lack of discipline shows. Strikeout on three pitches. There's Thompson. Plays off there. Misses. One ball, one strike. Got him to swing again. One, two. And Thompson goes down. Now pitching for the A. Here's Jack Number Avery. Jack Avery. I don't know nothing about this Avery kid. He's 27. He's got good hit per nine. He's got a fastball, a slider, and a sink. And he looks pretty good. Sinker misses. Late hold for free tonight. And down 0 2. One, two. God, wit on the slider that hung. Now you gotta rise. Late on the fastball. Unfortunate there. Hard to pick up his pitches though the way he throws the ball. They all look pretty similar. No ball, two strikes. That one put in play, but the flip to Avery and the tap on the bag. Here's Alvarez now. That's not the guy you want to pitch to, and he hung a slider, and Alvarez with the flip. Three to one, Kansas City. A temp home run for Alvarez. And I had a feeling that was coming soon. Here's Quan now. Ball one. Thought it was going to be off the fastball, but... Still had his bat enough in his own to get the slider. And here is Quan now, 0 for 3, and a couple of strikeouts. He chops it to second, and he will be out again. So an 0 for 4 day for Quan. But Alvarez makes it a two run game going into the ninth. And in will come Duran to face the heart of the order. 
kind of just uh, dare you to hit me fastball he's got. Got him again. Struck him out looking. Here's Badu. He took a strike low. And he tried to get him swinging, but the dude puts wood on it. Here is the windup from Duran. Again, Badu fouling off another pitch. Got him looking again. Throws him with a splitter. Here's Soderstrom. He takes strike one. So we just from not chasing. Ah. Swing and a miss. Nine and four. Ah. And he got him. The Royals win. Duran with the save. And we spotted him one, but we come back in. Hold on to the lead with our bullpen and pitching from Mize. Great play from Waters here. That prevented more runs. Well, we get nine hits. We get a couple runs. We beat Daniel Lynch. Wish we could have made him walk us a couple more times, but hopefully that part of our game will come sooner than later. Up nine to six, and we win 13 to nine. Hunter Brown gets the win out of all that. And back to scouting. Finishing up the first baseman international and Jacquim Rosario lands at number 25 on our board. He's got low injury risk, high bonus demand though, and only 6.5 million to, to go off of. You get Maldonado, who's less of uh, a risk, but more chance of even being a bust. Alejandro Maldonado. Kind of a similar player to Donaldson. Just don't know if he would be worth number 24. Claudio Ramos continues to jump up the board. It's not going to be a high overall player, though. We already have Fajita. I want to get players that are more pro ready. Let's look at the prospects left field that we looked at. Johnny Guerrero has fallen down, unfortunately, and Davis Ashley also falls down a bit, so we just can't seem to find what we want. Henry Boyd could be interesting later on. Got Charlie Copeland. Carter Coyle, not that good. Kind of a sad class so far. We just, it's been two years in a row. We just can't really seem to find the players that we're looking for. Maybe Eric McDonald is the guy after all. Maybe we just have to 
finish off McDonald here. He wants four million. It's gonna be hard to sign this class if we're making decisions like that. Maybe Barry Johnson is someone that we should look at. Also got Garrett Marlin, who could be interesting from in Illinois, same region. So maybe it is smart to look at some of these catchers from the Central. And yeah, we'll keep it on center field for now. Looking at the scouting for pitching. draw. He's jumped up our board still. I don't think he would beat her, but he would be a good pick, I think. I would love to, to add him to the team with that good fastball and a lot of other stuff he's got. You got Hernandez as well. Could be interesting. The hit per nine that kind of worries me, but he, he projects pretty good in the future. He's got plenty of pitches. Kind of looks like he could be like a like a singer in a way, like a Brady Singer type. You got Drew Dickerson, who doesn't project to have the high hit per nine that I'm after. Kiki Montana, he does, and he's dropped down to 20, though, unfortunate. Darrell Goodwin is still climbing, and becoming more and more interesting as the, the days go on. Maybe he's just the guy we go with pick one. I think I just want to look at get the real good one. I hate when it does that. There we go, we get Goodwin on the board and we can wrap him up pretty good. I think we'll finalize the week there. Finishing the series against uh, Athletics and we win the series, we sweep them, and here's a series against Detroit, and we actually are in first place tied with Detroit. Jackson Joby, and you got Alman Zar. Alman Zar did not win the last time up. Don't have any minor league games, so let's get another pitching game in with Almanzar. Gavin Cross, not quite on par yet. We get Melendez, got four home runs now. He's getting better. Alvarez hitting 280 on base, man. I gotta. Shuffle this up, I think. Rise might have to get moved and make a budget move. I don't know how to feel with the budget the way it is this year. We're definitely over the budget right now. We'll see how it ends though. Maybe with some good performances, I think with the sponsorships we might overcome the budget. But a pretty good batting order other than Tovar, but he'll be the one that actually hits against me. Now do we talk bad on Casey? 
Holes Rosen, obviously Alvarez. A good test for Almanzar to see if he can pitch well. Obviously, he got shelled against the Angels. We want to get a good game in with him. And I'll be focusing on his games a lot this year. We'll see a lot of him playing and Montoya when he comes back. I want to try to help get him better any way I can and even potentially win a rookie of the year. We strike one on Kifu, leads off. Up in the air, Almanzar just going to do it himself. Obviously a lot of pressure on Almanzar after signing the seven year contract in the off season, but I don't think he should worry as much. Now I'm very high on him. I want him to succeed and I'll do everything I can. I think this will be one of the few years I think we'll see him struggle if any, you know. I think he'll be really good. Here's Garcia, flips it, throws. Still in Carlson. Took a bad hack at it. Ball one. Ball two. That one belted right to second. And a very fortunate out. Here is Francisco Alvarez hitting a one dot. Still being a good signing for Detroit in the offseason. Basically like the Mets traded him for Green. It's worked out for Detroit. They've continued to win. That one punished. Deep and to the warning trap. Very fortunate to be in the park still. That one hammered deep to left field and off the wall. Torkelson with a double. Maybe pitch these guys a little. Here's Varsho. Got away and going to go to third. Not the worst play to get him on first to get the double play. Farshall gets walked on four pitches. Here's Owen Casey now. Swing and a miss. And he punched him out. Jong the check swings on a good pitch. Cutter misses. And a high fastball outside, and the bases are loaded. Second walk of the inning. And now you got Vavro. That one. Swung and missed on. Vavro fouls it off. Punched him out with a 98 cutter inside and makes it out of the jam. 
the second baseman. Cole's Keith. Keith. Take strike one. All ones the count. Thousand OPS for Keith and for Alvarez. Pushed up the middle for a base hit. You can see why there. Gets a base hit on a pitch that was away from him. It's Tovar, and he was ready for that one. Mendez was not ready, and this could score a run. The runner going around the throw is in time, and the run is saved. It's Carlson. Looped in for a base hit, and Carlson's going to score the run. One to nothing, Detroit. Now you got Alvarez. Up in the air. Moving in on it is Quan. Plays made. Swing and a miss on that slider. One ball, two strikes. Torkelson fouls back a curve. Three. And he waves at a high cutter. But the damage has been done. One to nothing, Detroit. The left fielder, number 25, Dalton Bonko. Hey! Absolutely drilled by Marshall into the gap. Need to come up with a better plan here with Almanzar. We're not pitching well enough and we're giving up go to hits and putting them in tough spots early in the hey. inning. On one. Here is hey. a tough batting order to face. That's a ball. Doesn't chase on the low curve ball. Hey. And we get him the swing and miss on the slider. <laughs> Cutter misses. What's in the play? A good hit. And Quan makes a dive and catch anyway. And the runner doesn't even advance. Now back. The designated hitter. Carrying Vavra. Cutter in there on Vavra. On the Vavra. Fouls it back. Three. Struck him out to end the fourth. No run support here yet. And Keith back up to swing. That's the ball. Third of that bat for him in the fifth inning. Up in the air, 99 on that one. Fouled back, Keith putting together a good at bat. Keith again fouling another one off. Three. 
And Keith can't catch up to the Heat. Up next to the Tiger, the it's Tovar who got a good hit. Side on that one. Nope, that's down. Tovar does not offer. That one put into play for another base hit for Tovar. So he gets on for the second time. And Daryl and Carlson, who gave them the lead. Check swings there. All one. Strike there. Beautiful pitch. Carlson not offering. Swing and a miss there on this fastball. That one didn't fool him. Up in the air, Garcia. And now going up against Alvarez. Waving at the slider. Alvarez waving again. And he struck Alvarez out. And Almonds are taken out early and a comeback win. Free run double from Garcia. And also Cross comes in and gets a hit. Like that outing there. Pretty good outing. Unable to get the win though, being down one to nothing, but he pitched a couple good strong innings. That'll help his ERA. He'll play Tampa Bay next, still at a six. And Detroit winning this game, Cross with two home runs. And the Tigers win 9-3. to three. They pound Avila. Here's a matchup against Mize. And Detroit wins the series and takes a division lead. And we can hop down to some double-A ball now. We haven't been down here too much yet this year. Got Joel Fong. Still struggling and might have to make a move there. But I want to take a look at Hiroshi and getting better. Hitting a 346 on base. I like to see that. Good to see Nixon Lane continuing to hit the ball well. Chad Bennett. Not really getting on base well, but not surprised. Tata, he's getting better. He's heading 250. I'm pretty happy to see that. Bronson Aaron, he started the season off well, but down to 228. And Chris Feliz, Feliz, Feliz. 286, very happy to see him get better. Love to see him be even better. But here we are, IKF and Michael Toglia down here playing. Couple big leaguers. And gonna see our high draft pick, Hiroshi Fong. We've, what are we taking, 13th? Something around that line. He was highly rated, like Carrera. You know, shot up the board. Wasn't even in first round territory. Obviously, was more of a project than Carrera, but he's really come along and he's done nothing but improve pretty much up to this point. Really, only good at hitting left handed pitching, though. I want him to see more boost to the right handed hitting. But I believe it'll come. And even if it don't, he'll still be a pretty good player. And he's playing center field. I think I messed that one up. 
I think I should have him in right field and Fong in center, but nonetheless, he's playing it today. And we made a little bit of a tweak to the swing, so hopefully, you know, it works a little bit better this year. Still feels like him. Nice and... Nice and, um... Kind of just... I don't even know how to describe it. Prototypical, I don't know what the word is, but... Down 0-2. How was that one back? Not seeing the ball well. That one seen well, and that one is punished into the gap. This is the first time I've really hit the ball well with Fong Cry the whole series, honestly. Never hit a home run. I don't even think I've hit a double with the guy, to be honest, but that felt good. So maybe the little tweak to the swing has worked out. You know, I don't like my right-handers having left-handed swings. It doesn't help them grow. And he didn't do terrible with it, but... I want to see you hit the ball well in double A. One high Hickman in the game now. Oh, Hickman was in the game before. I just didn't read his name, I guess. That one hit on the ground, and it will be a double play ball. Here's Alan Rowe. on the ground and Hiroshi with the scoop and he will not do what that man on the Yankees did where he just played around with the ball <laughs> Grisham that one almost hit Fong really inside on that pitch still pitching not too much energy that one put up the middle and flipped up and no way, Jose. What are you going to call that? It's a base hit. So both Fongs are on base with no outs. Reed and Tejada hit RBIs. Here he is against the lefty now. That one is hammered seen two good batted balls only 95 with the exit velocity but I like that you know he shrugs he says it's what I do he's got free hits today he feels good here's another Japanese player on the mound James Nishi Gonna test Fong and not a wise choice. It ends the seventh inning. He makes the throw with ease. He definitely has the stronger arm. And we do get the win. Oshi Fong, uh, the player of the game, a double, three for four. Good game for him. Edgar Vargas pitching well enough. Pretty happy to see him do well. He struggled early in the series, and hopefully he can have a good year and put it together. Roscoe Morales with a blister on the finger. And I think... Can go look at Triple A for a minute. Got Gerald Donaldson down here, up to a 79 now. He's really put together a good year. 
Ferrero at 174. I think we'll get another game in with him against the lefty Hogan. He's a righty. What am I talking about? Wow, Caleb Collier, a six dots. Really not happy to see Collier struggle. Maybe he's a guy that we have to look to trade. If you can't quite figure it out, I'm definitely a fan of his pitching style, but right now it's not working well. And he's getting hit. Maybe he's more of a guy that comes out of a bullpen after you deal with a higher velocity guy than you got to deal with his 88 moving around. Donaldson hits an RBI and Scruggs. Here's Mark Carrara hitting 174 in AAA. He's up to a 77, but has progressed in some hitting stats. Hoagland, fastball slider change in a two seamer. And the changeup fooled him there. Just missed a very hittable fastball. Two balls, two strikes. Three and two to Carrera. And he got another one. He just was early on it. He walks Carrera, so good play to discipline. Now batter, the third baseman. If Carrara does that better, then I mean, he definitely will find his way up. Foul to back. Owen, oh two. And a good swing on it. Just can't seem to hit the one down the middle. It's Hogan. He's definitely tiring. Gave him a pitch to hit. And this one hanging in the air. It could be caught. And it is caught. For the out. Here is Jensen now against Carrera. That one hammered down the line. He pulled, he hits it opposite field for a double. Maybe we should move him to triple to double A though. I don't know. Maybe he's just not quite ready for triple A. I just don't know with this guy. He's definitely been a frustrating development prospect, but gotta figure it out sooner than later. What a good swing, just not connecting. Oh, come on, man. One ball, two strikes. Early on that one. Ball two. Oh, it's back there, two and two. Good eye there. Three, ball, two Three and two, full count. Three. Will it buy him? He swung and missed high on the slider.
That one down the line. Tough play for Carrera. And he botched it. Don't even think he would have got him anyway. Great bunt. Collier, he pitched well enough. Two earned, seven innings. Might as well get another reminder that you came in here. With this video coming near to the end. Left-handed pitcher on the mound. Five RBIs in that spot is very hard to, to grasp when all your teammates have 10 plus. He's really just struggling to hit the ball. Bronson Aaron up to 51 clutch. I like that. Tough to decide. I think we'll do Joel just to see how he's doing. I don't know. We might have to send Joel down to a single A though. The way he's hitting the ball. Or the lack thereof. Here's Joel Fong against Mendoza. Cutter, a slider, and a fastball. That one hit well, but right to an outfielder. Now he's playing center field, so maybe we just have that mixed up a little bit. That's fine, though. I mean, interesting, but... <laughs> this doesn't matter that much. Now batting, center fielder, Joel Fong. It's Mendoza against Fong this time. Again, put in play, but this one not hit well enough. Two to nothing off of Bridges' home run, and that is hit well. The batter number two. Here we go. Here is Mendoza in a tough jam here with two outs, but two on. That one fouled hard down the line. 061 average with runners on. And that will help it down the line. The base hit was tied again. Two to two now. Aaron hits a two run home run. Here's Cassidy now. Who was in there? That one way inside. Up in the air. And that might be it. It is. Bronson Aaron, the player of the game. It's a home run. Hiroshi with another free for four day. Pretty good outing for most of the team. Vinny Pasquantino is out. Just injuries are adding up out of nowhere. Two wins, and now Manzar is starting ahead. They're going to start 
Vaughn here. And I don't know, man. That ISO kind of is rough, though. Vaughn's one of two hits was a home run. What would that make his isolated power? Negative point one four three. I don't know if Vaughn's the guy that we want playing, man. I really don't. You can't put Jensen at that spot. He's not capable. Can't put a story Ruiz there. Maybe we can bring in Luis Garcia for a couple games. Move a rise to first. Switch that up for a little bit. Kind of use our bench for what it is. Looking at the scouting. Eric McDonald down to 46. Disappointing. Low injury risk but high bonus. Darrell Goodwin hops to 21. I'm becoming more and more of a fan of Goodwin. I think I've pretty much seen enough. To be pretty convinced. Barry Johnson drops. Eric Rodriguez hops up a bit. Maybe he's the guy that we take a look at. You got Garrett Marlin. Not quite that good. And then you got David Brock. Not that impressive. Freddie Stevens, though, he kind of comes out of nowhere. He's got power capabilities. Just a really disappointing class so far, just evaluating, but maybe Eric Rodriguez is a gem. I really hope so, honestly. How do we know McDonald as a player? We can move on. Eight weeks to go, and we don't really have the player we want for our first pick. I mean, it, it probably would be Rosario if I had to put a, you know, make me make a decision. But I don't know. I'm kind of weird to even look at Kevin Gillian all the way. I feel like he would just continue to drop. You got Alejandro Maldonado, who does look interesting. I mean, He's got great vision and all that jazz. He's just not as high of a ceiling, but more of a hitter. This Ramos guy continues to jump up, but he's not really more of a good player. Yeah, I might want to just start looking at some of these later round second basemen. I mean, Kareem Watkins could be good. Potentially. Well, not even potentially, just as a good player. Some central second baseman. Right, that's what I want, right? Yeah, there's some interesting guys here. You got Navarre, 
Kareem Watkins, who I don't know if he even falls into that range of being in the central, but... Navarre seems interesting now that I see him, though. Maybe Mike Phipps is a sneaky good player as well. Rondo Hargrave is someone I might have to look at as well. Schofield definitely disappointed me when I looked at that ridge and I thought Schofield could be potentially good. Don't know if I'm real interested in Todd Beam. He does look kind of cool though. He's got a lot of interesting things. Just the vision is worrisome. Navarre, definitely an interesting player. Switch hitter. Not much power, but can provide other stuff. I don't know. Maybe we should take a look at Navarre. Hopefully Eric can hop up the board well. And now that I think about it, what are we doing here? Because something got messed up along the way. Almost messed up big time. Askew needs to be looking at pictures. That's what it was, so he was looking at a picture for me. Got Charles Hernandez, who could maybe be a guy we finish looking at, honestly, if when, when it comes down to this week. Yeah, I think we should look at Hernandez and finish him off. Get close to. Now we're all good with the scouting. And a series against the Twins coming up, and they're not that far behind. A good series against them would uh, propel them ahead. San Diego, good team. Cleveland sticking around. Whew, the Yankees, man, but the Dodgers. An interesting month. We got some good teams on the schedule for June and we'll definitely get through that and see how we do. But I think I'll end it there. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. In the first place by half a game. And May twenty seventh.